Now let's apply everything that we've learned on the circle theorems onto some typical GCSE questions. Um, with these questions, often you'll find that there is no straight away you'll get the answer. Um, often I've been looking at a question and I've been really, really working over it and I just can't see it. And I've handed it over to a colleague or even a student and the moment I turn the book around and pass it over to them, I can see it. Which means that sometimes you may need to change your perception and maybe move the paper around or move your head around so you can start to see how those theorems that you've seen, um, how they can actually be applied at different angles because it may not always be the way that it's been presented to you. So let's have a look at our first question. Um, we are told that the angle A, B, D is 54 and we are told that the angle B, A, C is 28. And we are asked to find the angle ACD, which is A to C to D, so this angle here, and we have to give a reason for our answer. Um, usually there's two marks, one mark maybe for the um, actual answer, and one mark for the, giving the correct reason. So let's have a look at this question. We can see here that we've got this angle right here as angle 54. Now, this here is an arc, and from those same two points, we have two other lines that go and meet at the circumference. If you remember, one of the rules, circle theorems, it states that angles in the same segment are equal. So this is also going to be 54 degrees as well. So this 28 was just misleading us. It was just there to try to throw us off. Um, we are trying to look for this, and we saw this arc here, and we had two points going off from here to the circumference, and we had another two lines going here and meeting there. Right, so let's have a look at the next question here. Uh, maybe pause the video, try to figure it out yourself, and press play again when you're ready to go through it. All right, so what do we have here? We are told that angle AOC here is 168 degrees, and we have to find the angle ADC. So let's highlight ADC. We are told that we need to find this angle right here. Straight away, I can see that we have a cyclic quadrilateral. And what do we know about cyclic quadrilaterals? We know that cyclic quadrilaterals, the opposite angles, okay, they are equal to 180 degrees. So this angle right here and this angle right here, they will be equal to 180 degrees. But we don't know these two angles. We have to find one of them. Obviously, we can't find this one straight away, but maybe we can find this. If you recall the circle theorem one, we have, we can apply. This is an arc. And from this arc, we have two lines that go and meet at the center, giving us 168 degrees. Now, from those same two points, we have two more lines that continue in the other sector and they also form an angle. And that angle there will be half of the angle at the center. So 168, so in order to find this angle, let's call it A, B, C, you know, angle A, B, C would be half of 168. So 168 divided by two, that gives us 84 degrees. So therefore this angle here is 84. And earlier at the start, we said that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So therefore this angle plus this angle is equal to 180. So in order to find angle A, D, C, we do 180 minus the 84. And that gives us on our calculators or otherwise 96 degrees. So therefore, angle ADC is 96 degrees. Now the question does say give reasons for your working. So otherwise the marks won't be given to you completely. So please make sure that um, you're writing down those reasons, okay? So one more time, we use this one here because we've got um, angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. And we use this one here because we have a cyclic quadrilateral and opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Right, on to our third example. So here we have another circle and we are told that 
um, A, B, and D are points on the circumference of the circle, center O. B, O, D is a diameter, so therefore this is the center of the circle. And we are told that uh, B, C, and A, C are tangents to the circle. And we are given this angle here, which is um, angle O, C, B as 34 degrees. Hopefully you could, this is appearing on the board. Um, if it's not, then just make a note of that. Uh, this is 34 degrees. Right, the question says find angle D, O, A. So let's highlight where D, O, A is. So here's D, here's O, and here is A. So D, O, A, we are looking for this angle there. So that's our mission, that's our objective. Now we will use all the information that we have, the theorems that we know, and we will find what this angle is. What do we know? We are told that we have two tangents to this circle right there. So therefore, this is a tangent, this is a tangent, and we know from one of the circle theorem number six, that from a point outside the circle, if you have tangents to a circle, then those two points are equal. Those two lines are equal, rather, I should say. Right. Secondly, um, this is a radius because this is a diameter. So this is a radius to the circle. This is a radius to a circle. Also, this is a radius to the circle as well because it goes from the circumference to the center, which means that the angle that the radius and the tangent make is 90 degrees from one of our other theorems. And therefore, the angle here is also 90 degrees because we have a tangent and a radius. Now, we are getting somewhere. We can find this third angle of this triangle here, which is exactly the same as this triangle because they are congruent using one of the theorems. And once we know this angle, we will, we will also know this angle because they are going to be exactly the same we can use angles on a straight line and find this angle that we need to find, which is DOA. So let's do this. We're going to start by finding the third angle of this triangle. So how do we do that? We add 90 degrees plus 34. So 90 plus 34. And that gives us 124 degrees. We will do 180 because the angle is in a triangle are up to 180. And by the way, these are your reasons. You need to state every single time you're doing something, give the reason. So the second reason now is angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So 180, take away the 124, which is the total of these two. That gives us this angle here, and that gives us 56 degrees. So we know that this angle right here is 56 degrees. Now, because as I mentioned earlier, these two triangles here, they are the same, congruent, that's also going to be 56 degrees. Angles on a straight line, all three of these, they also add up to 180. So to find our angle DOA, we are going to add up the 256s, and we are going to take that answer away from 180. And 56 plus 56 is 112 degrees, so therefore 180, take away 112, gives us 68 degrees. So our answer to DOA is 68 degrees. So a question like this may carry around four marks. Um, you've got two sets of working out here. So maybe this one with its reasons, two marks. This one with its reasons, two marks. And that's where maybe the four marks will come from. Hopefully you are starting to understand it, you're starting to get the hang of it. Uh, remember, the more you apply yourself to different questions, uh, the more you're going to start being able to use the various theorems and you're going to start spotting them early. Um, you need to practice and practice makes you perfect. Nonetheless, let's move on to our next question here, num question number four. We have a tangent here and a tangent there from a point outside the circle, which means that those two tangents, the lengths are equal. They are the same. And we are told that the angle B O, C, so let's draw that in, is 130. And it, the question hasn't drawn it in for us, but let's do that ourselves. So B, O, C, it's going to require us to draw in the radius, uh, O being the center of the circle. So we are told that B, O, C is 130 degrees. Work out the size of angle B, A, O. So let's label what, where B, O, B, A, O is. So B, A, O. Oh, it's not even this. B, A, O is here in the center. So that means it wants us to draw a line through here and find this angle. Now, splitting this up, 
uh, means that we have two triangles which are the same, refer to the circle theorems. If I'm splitting up this uh, angle here, that means I'm going to share the 130 degrees here. So this is going to be 65 and this is going to be 65. Now, we are told to find this angle, so let's focus on this triangle here. What do, do we know this angle here? Yes, we do, because this is a radius, this is a tangent, this is 90 degrees. So, all that leaves us to do is to find this angle, we do 65 plus the 90, get the total of that, which is 155 degrees, and then take it away from 180, because we have a triangle here, and angles in a triangle, add up to 180, so therefore 180, take away 155, and that gives us 25 degrees, so therefore angle B, A, O is equal to 25 degrees.